everyone, it's Margaret here. I'm back with another project. Um, I've been working on um, some soap sachets again. Um, I love to make these around uh, Easter time or Mother's Day. Um, I think they make a really sweet gift. And um, this time though, um, I went through my uh, lace box and I've been collecting vintage laces for a lot, lot of years. Um, and every time I would see um, a special color, I would pick it up. Problem is, I was keeping these laces in a box and I never did anything with them. So now I decided to uh, embrace the lace and uh, use all the colors that I had. Um, I'll start with this one. Um, this in particular, um, I believe that uh, Gail, uh, Fava of Four, uh, sent me this lace quite some time ago. And it's a lovely uh, lavender color, as you can see. Uh, it's absolutely gorgeous. I lined it with a, uh, a pretty um, a satin uh, lining in the same color. And then you can see the uh, the dangle lace at the bottom that uh, matches and I've added a few little sparklies in there. And then uh, I put this brooch on um, just underneath this pretty lady uh, that I have uh, embroidered in a nice blue thread uh, to complement the colors. And uh, this brooch, uh, I've uh, actually attached it on uh, with the um, with the needle, the pin. I did not uh, glue it on, so it is removable. Um, the beauty of these uh, sachets, I call them soap sachets, but really and truly you can put almost anything inside, um, uh, depending what uh, the recipient um, is into. Um, I've done these before with lipsticks and nail polishes, um, some uh, powder, um, with a pretty uh, puff inside. So again, uh, I've included the uh, the soaps inside, but you can pretty well put anything you like inside. So this is the lavender one. The next one is, uh, I had this beautiful um, royal blue lace. And what I've done is I've kind of done these pickups uh, at the bottom. Uh, and adds a lot of prettiness to it. Again, I've included this beautiful uh, uh, removable blue brooch and uh, I've added this lady that complements the colors um, with a little bit of, again, uh, blue embroidery on her dress. These little handmade rosettes and uh, these little beads uh, for the little uh, dangle strings um, to complement uh, the actual sachet. I'm going to see if I can just pull it back a bit. There we go. And uh, the back, I just left it plain um, since the front uh, had a lot going on. So I just left the back plain and added this little ruffle. And that's the next one. Some of these colors are unusual. You don't see these colors every day. So um, this is the uh, fuchsia one. Uh, this is a beautiful uh, pink lace that I had. Again, um, these are all uh, lined inside and this is a, uh, a satin pink uh, lining behind. I've added this uh, fringe. Uh, I was able to uh, find in my stash a complementing color for the, uh, for the fringe, so I've added that. And then uh, I had this uh, embroidered lace piece in the same color uh, with all these pearls and sequins and uh, um, I, uh, a little bit of gold thread in here. So I thought this would really complement this uh, uh, lady in the middle that I've chosen for this one. And again, I've, I've done a little bit of embroidery on, on her, uh, which makes it uh, a little bit more interesting. And then this one I've used some strings with some little dangle pieces at the, at the bottom. And that is that one. Uh, the next one, probably one of my favorites, a little unusual. I had this uh, gorgeous green lace. This was a, um, actually some of these were old tablecloths. I know back in the day they, uh, they had all these different colored lace tablecloths uh, for different tea parties. So anyway, um, this is really soft. I love the fact that the, uh, the lace was so soft. So by layering them together, um, it just gives it a beautiful effect without making it too bulky. Um, but I really love the way this turned out. And then I chose this, uh, this image of the lady that is wearing the complimenting uh, green 
uh, dress and then again with some green embroidery thread and a little bling I've added some interest to her and uh, again the back um, is just plain but I've added this uh, uh, little uh, pearl pearl and lace um, embellishment at the back and the uh, the pull strings are actually um, these I just added these little rhinestone uh, trims at the ends and it adds a little bit of sparkle. Again, um, this uh, this brooch here, I can't remember this one if it's glued on or not. Uh, yeah, this one's glued on, so it is not removable. But I love I love the way this one turned out. It's just so so fancy. The next one, uh, this one is is uh, similar to the ones I've done before. Um, just lots of dangle trim on this. Um, I've used this uh, base fabric uh, with this uh, uh, curl um, uh, ribbon em embroidery on it. I really love that. And uh, I chose this image of this uh, lovely lady in the pink. And then I've just um, mixed some pink and cream uh, uh, embellishments uh, and uh, uh, just to complement the picture. And this beautiful... Um, uh, brooch in pearl and rhinestone. This is adhered so it doesn't come off. And uh, some little pearl dangles on this one. So that's that one. The next one, this is actually, I love this lace. It's a pretty French lace that I bought. This one I actually bought at an antique market. Um, and it was just a piece of this gorgeous lace. Uh, I just fell in love with it. I love the scallops on it. And um, I finally got to use a, a piece of it. Again, it's fully lined. And I chose this uh, lady's head for the, uh, the center. And then I just decorated it with some of the same lace. Again, her headpiece is all thread embroidered uh, here. And then added some dangly bits here. Um, a handmade satin rose. And that is that one. The next one, again, very unusual. I never see yellow, I don't know why, but this one reminded me of spring, so I thought it was timely and uh, pretty for the season. I uh, really like the way it, it turned out. I never thought I would use yellow, but um, again, coordinating it with this uh, beautiful image of this lady in yellow with some gold thread embroidery, a little bit of red embroidery in the hair piece, and then adding these little uh, rosettes and this beautiful um, bling piece in that, that reflects uh, yellow gold, which is very pretty. And then I made this rose in the same lace uh, and then just ruffled the bottom layer upon layer and used these uh, little dangles on the, um, on the satin uh, tri um, um, ties. And then the back, uh, just to finish it off and clean it up, I used this uh, pretty um, uh, braid trim which I dyed in yellow and added these uh, little gold buttons here and that's that one yep very very um, appropriate for the spring I thought uh, the next one and the last one this is I really don't know what color to call this I know it's going to look uh, really red in the video but it's actually just a little bit maybe between plum and, and red um, and I just I just love this particular lace I lined it with the green satin just to bounce it out a bit and uh, finished off the back the uh, this was actually from a scarf and I I got uh, all these beautiful coordinating dangles right from the scarf and then I've added the green in behind and I did that to complement this beautiful um, uh, green and uh, reddish uh, stoned uh, brooch here which adds a lot of beauty to it and then the image of the lady is uh, one that is putting on some lipstick I embroidered uh, her headpiece again in the red thread added a little bit of bling all around and again um, the ties are of the same uh, I just made tassels from the same uh, dangles and added a little bit of bling um, and again, if, if in this image in particular, you can see that if you want to add a lipstick or a nail polish to the sack, 
um, I think it really makes a, a really pretty gift. So uh, I know some of you were asking for sachets. Um, these are the ones I have now. Uh, again, uh, I'm happy to use up all these uh, wonderful laces. I hope you I hope you like that, ladies. And um, I'll be back again to share more projects very soon. So thanks for watching, and uh, see you soon. Bye for now.